Okay, so my apologies. This video is actually long overdue. Uh, I was sent some wonderful stuff by uh, Josh over at France Foamworks, and here's the stuff that he sent me. Sorry it took so long, Josh. <laughs> What's up, YouTube? Griever here. And yes, I was sent a nice little care package from uh, Josh over at Franz Foamworks. And I thought I would share all of the wonderful little goodies that he sent me. And I did tell Josh I would do this. And I'm sorry it's taken so long. Lots of stuff has been going on as of late and all this other stuff. And I'm really sorry. But uh, just... Real quick, we'll go over to the workbench and I'm going to show off the stuff that he sent me. And also, don't forget to go check out his website, francefoamworks.com. Link will be in the description down below. Go check out his wares. And I should say his wares and his team's wares. So, let's go to the workbench. Okay, so here is all of the stuff that I was sent by France Foamworks. No, I did not get the blasters from them, but I did get all of the 3D printed parts that you do see here in front of you. Uh, first thing I'm going to go over is the part of this kit that I actually did pay for, and that is the takedown grip. Uh, France Formworks sells these for 15 bucks a pop. Uh, they normally will come in black. Mine actually did come in blue and orange, just because Josh was running low on filament. I told him that was totally fine, because I was planning on pitting the spray to go along with my take down so i have to say this grip is awesome i was using it prior to actually installing the 10 kilogram spring i did get uh from containment crew and i have to say it is so much better to prime that thing with this than the standard one and just going over some of the key points here you have a nice rib texture here insert jokes here and a nice backstop for your palm in i mean for my big meaty paws this is a nice nice fit the action is really smooth or as smooth as you can with this spring load in it but the grip itself is super comfortable the back end of it does not feel uncomfortable in any way when you're holding it and again it just it lends itself to priming that heavier spring load so so well uh josh sells this at francefoamworks.com for 15 dollars plus shipping and handling so if you have a takedown i suggest i would definitely suggest getting this and if you have a takedown with a heavier spring load i definitely recommend getting this it's $15, and depending on where you are, shipping and handling, you're talking maybe, what, like five, ten bucks shipping? Again, depending and all that stuff. I don't know. I don't ship much stuff very often. But for 15 bucks for a 3D printed grip that works very, very well, you cannot beat that price. Yes, I know I'm sounding like a shill, but I am just speaking the damn truth. Next thing we're going to go over is this. And yes, this is a knockout, but what is special about this knockout is it is brass breached. Now, I got two things in regards to this for it. One, I did actually get a completed brass breach insert into here from Josh. I also did get the raw 3D file prints. Uh, in case I wanted to make another breast breach of my own or maybe use aluminum depending on you know what I wanted to use it for but I do actually have the spacers that are actually in here so the way these work is this piece will go into the back end here where you have to do where you do have to take out the air restrictor there is going to be a bit of modding involved into this it's not just a simple drop-in kit like let's say the strife or the takedown uh, you do have to remove the air restrictor and the posts so that it will actually hold this piece in. A little bit of super glue in there and you're fine. The next piece would be the barrel section where you just put your brass barrel in here, slide it into the tube. It will, fr it will friction fit a bit, but 
it is still best to like glue this down either epoxy or super glue i actually just have super glue in mine and i have to say this is a great great little pistol now uh using worker darts i think i've hit maybe about 100 110 with it um this still has the stock spring in it so i haven't done any updated spring mod i haven't done an updated spring to it so it's still the stock knockout spring in here and 100 fps for that is for a pistol isn't terrible i mean it's serviceable uh this kit will actually go for 25 bucks on france foam works but it is the spacers and the brass it's not just the 3d prints of these although i'm sure if you did just want these because you want to do your own brass breach because you do them however you want to do it or you want a longer length of brass in there or whatever definitely message them they do custom pieces too so i am sure something along the lines will be work will you will be able to work something out with him josh is a great guy to work with he is great at being able to <laughs> work at whatever stuff you come up with because i remember trying to figure out how to do my uh rail cut off for the demolisher and he was just really helpful with getting everything all worked out for that but lastly what i have here is i have a very very nice strife kit now some of these were prototyped parts and i believe those were these blue ones which he told me came off of his own strife which Thank you very much, Josh. That actually was really cool. Uh, very impressed with it because, again, your work is awesome. But for the fact that, you know, you gave me your own personal kit, that was really, really nice. Um, the kit does come with... Sorry, a little natty fly. Um, the kit does come with a two-part tack rail on the top here, front barrel extension, a piece for... Uh, that covers up the bottom rail here now i did review back in my original friends foamworks video which you can go check out in the little card in the cor corner somewhere um anyway this was i had originally gotten the prototype of this piece this is actually the production piece now and all of the issues that well the minor issues that i did have with it have actually been resolved in this one uh, it does snap in very, very nicely right here. Uh, no nub here to worry about. It's actually been ground off. It doesn't go on there anymore. And it's still a very nice, comfortable uh, foregrip. I am not too big on the foregrip on here just because it makes me want to kind of almost hold it in a secondary pistol grip instead of like this, just because it's small for my hand. I'm sure somebody else will find it extremely comfortable, but I actually do like this one because I can just get my whole hand on here and also kind of go into the barrel a little bit. So it works out very much nicer for me. Uh, you also get with the kit the spacer for here, along with two little tack rails to go fill in these ugly bits here. Now, these actually friction fit into place, which is awesome so if you want to like unkit your strife you can or if you know it's going to stay in permanently you can always try and like glue these in or you know however you want to adhere them in it also comes with the i honestly forgot what the proper name of it is but the magwell cover i'm gonna call it i believe it's to help guide in your magazines a little your or clipazines whatever whatever the hell we call them but your mags they go in a little smoother with this because it's able to funnel it very much easier also i do have to say i really 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 do like this purple and also it comes with a cap for your stock attachment which honestly i really really do like because if you're not going to use a stock and you're just going to use this as like a long pistol or something or for CQB and not use a stock, this is a great, great little piece. Uh, there are some what look like, actually those just might be print things, but it does have a screw hole in top so you can screw it into place. Along with the tack rails, you do have places to screw it in permanently. 
I just have the one screw right here to attach the two rails. So this is loose, but I'm not putting any attachment on it at this given time. Also, I don't have any, th any Picatinny attachments that I could put on there anyway. Moving on. So this kit goes for 45 on his website. Uh, again, friendsformworks.com. Link in the description below. There is a newer kit, and I'm not 100% sure if that's the one that Xavier um, and some others have been able to review, but there is a version 2 of this kit, which does have a, believe, a tack rail on the bottom here, and those are going for 55. Uh, this one's 45. The newer one is 55, just because it's got a couple more bells and whistles. But that's all the stuff that I was sent. Thank you again, Josh, for sending me this stuff. Uh, it was really 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 awesome i do love them all and i'm again i apologize this just took so long so uh let's just wrap up this video then okay so i hope you enjoyed that look at some of the products that are offered over at franceformworks.com uh definitely go check them out again link to their site is going to be in the description down below uh josh and his team put a lot of hard work and effort into their stuff their quality is awesome and definitely go check them out i truly encourage it i put my support behind them but that's going to be it for this video and as always if you enjoyed this video please throw us a like and subscribe leave a comment down below let me know what you think of friends foam work stuff or if you've gotten any of their stuff what do you think of theirs but oh don't forget to click that little bell icon otherwise you may not know when me and arlene are doing some silliness here on the channel and again thank you all very much for watching I'll see you guys next time. Later.